Factories or showrooms in the Upland Metaverse, which one is right for you? In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences and what type of people would want to own which type of MetaVenture. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I'm here to unlock the secrets of the Upland Metaverse. On this channel, you can find everything you need to build your Upland Empire. Expert tutorials, winning strategies, pro tips and tricks, and a lot more. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the Upland Metaverse, that knowledge is truly your most valuable asset. Factories are used to create NFTs in the Upland Metaverse that are placed outside your home on your properties. These things can be map assets, structure ornaments, or vehicles. Just like in the real world where factories are usually not involved in the sale of these items to consumers, you have showrooms. Showrooms are where all of these types of items can be sold. Now, each factory or showroom can only manufacture or sell one type of item. So if I want to manufacture map assets, I would need a map asset factory meta venture. And if I wanted to sell structure ornaments, I would need a structure ornament showroom. Now, when you manufacture the structure, that being the factory or the showroom, you can build whichever one you want. Only when you go to apply for a meta venture is when you have to decide which type of asset you're looking to manufacture or sell. There are several different sizes of these structures and each of them have different configurations. And this is also important to take note of when you're looking to think of capacity. The larger your factory, the faster you're going to be able to produce items. And the larger your showroom means the more items you're going to be able to hold on inventory within the store in order to sell. You can see here that my factory and showroom are only about a block away, and this is by design. In the future, we know that with transportation coming, we are going to need to ship goods from one place to another place. So if I wanted to sell these map assets, I would first have to load them onto some sort of a vehicle and send that over to my showroom. This means that I'm going to need vehicles and I'm also going to need sparklet, which is going to be the fuel for these vehicles. This is going to be another added cost when it comes to manufacturing and sale of these goods. So from that perspective, it makes sense to have the factory and showroom in close proximity. On the other hand, there are reasons why you might want to have a factory far away from your showroom. Think about the real world. How many factories do you actually see downtown? With prime real estate there and prices being extremely expensive, People typically have showrooms or stores downtown. That's where you have lots of foot traffic and nobody wants to see a factory there. So yes, shipping might be a little bit more expensive in order to get your item to that showroom. However, you're going to be saving a lot on land costs by finding inexpensive land further away from that area or potentially in a different city. So now that I've explained the three different steps of the supply chain, that being the manufacturing, transportation, and sales of the item, Let's get to the question of who would want to be creating a factory and who would want to be owning a showroom meta venture. Let's start with creators. If you know how to model in Blender or do 3D modeling, then you definitely want to have your own factory. If you're able to create these types of assets on your own and you want to get your ideas out into the metaverse, you're going to need to start with manufacturing. these. If you're not necessarily a good salesperson, that's okay. There's still a great opportunity for you to make money from your designs. Sure, you could sell your design to someone else who owns a factory, but the advantage of you creating your own factory is that you get royalties on the sale of every one of your items in perpetuity. Every time your item gets sold from a showroom, you will earn 2.5%. It doesn't matter if you made that sale, someone else, or that item is sold 10 times over you will receive 2.5% on every sale of that item. You can learn more about these royalties in the link in the upper right hand corner or the description below. Now it's important to note that the person who gets these royalties is the person who manufactured the item itself. It only takes half a spark in order to start building your own factory, but if you do wanna open a MetaVenture factory, then you're going to need a minimum of five spark in order to start manufacturing. Now there are some creators who also are good at selling and those people might wanna be opening up their showroom. If you're not interested in that aspect of the business, then you can stick to what you know best, which is designing these items and manufacturing them. Now, if you're good at sales or you have a property which is in prime location, you might wanna turn that into a showroom. In the future, these showroom owners will be able to purchase these assets off of manufacturers and sell them in their own shop. As of June, 2024, this feature does not exist yet. Maybe as the salesperson, you also have quite a large fleet of vehicles that can help to transport these 
items from the factory to the showroom. If not, then you're going to need a third actor who can provide these types of services as well. So it's quite possible for one person to have complete control over the entire supply chain, that being manufacturing the items, transporting them between the factory and the showroom, and selling them within the showroom. But if you're not that type of person, and if you want to stick to what you specialize in best, it's entirely possible to have three different types of people in this supply chain. Now, one thing to take note of, just like in the real world, the more of the supply chain that you're able to control means that you're going to be able to provide, if you so choose, lower prices. Because every other player who is going to come and take in some part of this process is going to want to be earning money for their services as well. So if you're able to control the whole process, you're going to be able to provide the best prices as well. If you want to learn more about opening your own meta ventures, starting manufacturing, or anything that has to do with being a business owner in the Upland Metaverse, continue watching these videos and search out more information in the links in our description below.